yeah, it's gonna be kind of uncomfortable, like just leaning like this the entire fucking time. But <laughs> yeah, that's just gonna have to happen. So, can you hear me well? Yeah. Like, no, if you can like hear this. yourself you, on the headphones, if you can hear yourself well, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Cool. So you're good. Yeah. I well, just I've been in sport like a minute, and mm -hmm. me myself, I feel like I've been strong, yeah. and I've been up there, and I've been around. Like a lot of the top lifters in the sport know me, and I talk to them, and like we all know that I'm strong. But yeah. it's like whenever I have like whenever you have these conversations, as far as like who's coming up in the class or who's like best in the class or whatever that didn't start happening until I'm posting numbers to where I could be the best in this new class yeah uh, while you have other people who are like ranked number eight or nine or ten or like 12 or 13 mm -hmm. that get certain like you know uh prestige or get certain like you know uh um what's the word that I'm looking for what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, exposure yeah exposure yeah um Versus like me yeah. putting in work consistently, hard work, and just like putting my lifts out there. I'm very transparent with everything that I have going on. I'm very transparent with like you know my lifts. I'm not hiding anything, and it's just like it just seems like it always gets overlooked. Even yeah. though I show up on the day of the meet and I show yeah. up. And I someone told like it's crazy because someone told me like Bob's underrated. I'm like, I'm like he's he's well known in like the YouTube community too and Instagram, and I think. Yeah. And I'm like, in what way? And they're like, people aren't acknowledging that he like, is going to be the best 105 kilo lifter when there was 105 kilo. He's like, the people are not saying that he's going to be the best 105 in the world. Bob would have like, been for 105, you would have been for 93. Yeah. And we we're meeting in the middle. Yeah. And then but now, now it's like a perfect like situation where you guys are both meeting in it. And that is going to be, that's going to be, because his, I mean, his training's been, ridiculous and, and you know what's funny is uh i mean we all have we have a group chat everyone has group chats in this sport um and me and bob are in the group chat not only that we're teammates mm -hmm. so me and bob are also coached by marcellus yeah and we've you know been pushing each other and like we talk about like certain lists and stuff like that especially leading internationals um just really really kind of like hyping each other up yeah. and for us to be competitors again like i'm excited yeah like I wouldn't say I necessarily have a routine though. It's just I need to make sure that I make my pre before I go. So that way I have less space in my bag because I'm just dead looking. Come on! Let's fucking go! I, always, I want to go against the strongest and be stronger than the strongest. Like, Period. Like I want to go to where the the competition is, like the like the, the real competition, um, and that's what's important to me as a powerlifter. I say the energy is just different. It is phenomenal. It's like you can you can feel the weight. But I remember our first time meeting in person was 2018 Arnold. I was just kind of spectating, going around. I mean. Him, like I just kind of, I don't know, I just gravitated to him. Like he was easy to talk to. So when the relationship kind of just developed as I kind of got to know him and found out like he was just like me. It's been awesome to see the growth on in multiple ways. Um, obviously like, you know, when we first met, I saw his training. Me just being a coach myself and have my own thoughts on programming and training. I might see him do certain things where I was like, yeah, what is this guy doing? <laughs> like, 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 this dude could be so much stronger, right? So, of course, you have those thoughts, but I respect you keep that to yourself. Um, but when he did first ask me to start coaching him, I was, one, I was, I was surprised um, just because I wasn't expecting it. Um, but it was one of those things where it was also, like, just really, really cool because it's like, oh, this is an opportunity to take someone where I've had thoughts of, man, I think this dude could be this out of third and actually be able to implement that. Um, and the fact that we were all really cool before made it kind of an easier transition too. And that's, cause I would say that that's probably how I put it. Like that's how we met. Like we were kind of like casually friends. When we started working together and really getting known as a person that's actually like made our friendship grow more. Oh, being, being teammates with him has, has been, it's been dope just seeing, you know, how much he's progressed as well as me. Um, cause I mean, both of us, we kind of followed a similar timeline where we started out, um, you know, I, I can't remember if he had a coach at the time that I met him, but you know, we both started out just kind of, you know, doing our own thing, probably, um, you know, I don't know his exact journey that led to him competing, but I'm sure it was, it was pretty similar to mine where we were, you know, lifting weights, doing our own thing, and then finally decided 
that we wanted to get into competing um, and then eventually getting a coach. And then afterwards uh, meeting Marcellus later on and then eventually getting coached by him. So, and then you can clearly see the difference, you know, once we both started w working with Marcellus to where things started to really take off our relationships with each other, with Marcellus and everyone. Um, all I think all of that has kind of helped. Um, like the relationships help with the with the training, with the progress, and the progress helps with the relationships. So, you know, just seeing him, you know, do his thing, um, it, it's it's been awesome. I know who I'm capable of, and, and, and anybody who's close to him, like we know what he's capable of, and I as his coach have known what he's capable of, but for him to know it, that created such a huge shift in his mentality with, with his training. Like, like, so like, as a lifter, he is one of the strongest pound for pound lifters in the game, period. Um, as a person, Petrie is somebody where like I said, the, the dude is just always putting out positive energy. And I don't mean like in a pseudo way where he always pretends to be happy when he's not, but the fact is, no matter what he's going through, he's still putting positive energy towards other people. And you can see that with how he carries himself in the sport, um, how he is with his teammates, like e even with Bob, competing with Bob back to back, but he's supporting him. He's never talking down. He's like, hey, I want you to show up at your best so that I can beat you at your best. That's what I want. That's how Petrie is as a person. Like even when he's going against you, he's trying to uplift you. But the biggest storyline in the entire meet from me is obverse Brandon. This guy is going to really make a lot of noise in this game. 
I, I think it's safe to say he's setting himself up today to make some money. It's one of those things where it's like no one sees anyone beating Ashley. 
but after this meet, like, oh, he he was one get lift point of like away from beating him, which is crazy. So it's like, and maybe one lift, one miss lift away. I think the future's bright for him. I really feel like, like, you know, he is going to be one of those guys at the top running the 100 kg class, like, for the next 35 years, honestly. I was I actually was looking forward to seeing like Petrie, you know, finally get his his acknowledgement because people have been sleeping on him for a minute. And then like seeing Petrie finally get the spotlight he deserved was huge. As a professional lifter the impact that I truly want to make is just being able to spread a message that just really isn't told too much. Like, like truthfully told. I don't, I don't think that too many of today's professionals or today's champions really face like a lot of adversity. He was an underdog and then he rose to the top.